excited to be back with you. This week is gonna be a good one. It is so chocker blocked I actually can't. My little fur ball is pottering about in the kitchen. You can hear her. Hello, Angel. How are you today? But yeah, it's a busy old week. I'm excited to bring you along with me. I'm actually getting my hair done, which I can't tell you. When was the last time I had my hair done? I think it might have been April when we first came out of lockdown, literally like the first time we were allowed an appointment. I dyed my hair dark brown. It is no longer dark brown. The blonde is like super rebellious. So I think we're just gonna, kind of gonna roll with that a little bit because it's just never gonna leave me. And I don't want a fringe. Sort out my gray hairs. It's gonna be a wonderful experience. I'm so excited to get my hair done. Also just the pleasure of not having to wash your own hair is it's up there with one of my ultimate joys. I also, if you saw the last vlog, which I will link up here, I went to the dentist, had such a lovely time. So I'm feeling super pampered this week. It's goals. I'm very happy. Also very happy because I've had this little package here just arrived, which I'm gonna unbox with you and show you everything. I'm so excited. Today is a great day. I have a jewelry delivery and I'm getting my hair done. Every time I do this, I remind myself of 2016 me and I'm not sure how I feel about it. How do we feel about this? I just keep throwing it about and then I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. It's actually like five. My appointment is at six. I've had a very full day. I've just come off a call. My makeup is melting off of my face. It's been a great day. Just roll with me here, basically, guys. Those of you who saw the last vlog may be very happy to know the thistles are still going strong. So happy with them. They're so pretty. Nala is modeling them beautifully. Same with the hydrangeas as well. Just absolutely gorgeous. Can't fool m and for their flowers. I obviously love buying from small businesses, Guns, Florist in Brighton and Hove are my favorites, but I just picked these up whilst doing a food shop and they have lasted so well. I can tell they're starting to like floop a little bit now, but I bought them a long time ago and I am so happy with them. But anyway, let's get into this. I'm so excited about this delivery. Some of you who have watched my videos for a long time will know that I love Monica Vinader. I love their stuff. I've been a paying customer for years and I'm really excited that they have actually sponsored this video. This is a paid for integrated partnership with Monica Vinader. And I actually have a code which will get you a discount. I think it's a 20% discount off of Monica Vinader. If you use the link in the info box and use the code SUSIEB20, it will get you 20% off your purchases, which is amazing. We love a discount code, don't we? So I'm gonna show you what I got and then I'll show you how I'm styling it over the course of the week. <laughs> Guys, how gorgeous are these Monica Vinada pieces? I am obsessed especially with these little chubby hoops look at them oh my god so these are the dia or dea chunky hoop earrings they are so beautiful and then we've also got the dia huggy earrings so so cute i've got quite a few pairs of those because lots of you know i have many piercings in my ears these hoops are the disco hoops i love these the detailing on them is so gorgeous i have two of the joiner cross ring i saw these layered up on their website and i loved the look of it so much we have the siren muse wide ring and this is just incredible i love this so much it's just such a gorgeous statement piece both the rings are really just gorgeous statement pieces but they're really simple at the same time so i don't feel like they'll distract from any look that i put together this one here is the dye ring i love the shape of this it's so amazing it's like a little bit raised when you wear it on your finger as well because of the thick kind of tip of it it's just so beautiful and then this really is the star of the show this is the doina wide chain bracelet oh the detailing on this is gorgeous it feels so nice to like touch so like slinky so pretty and then this necklace is the curb chain necklace which is so cool you can actually make it longer or shorter depending on your neckline your preference i just think that is so cool so beautiful all of these pieces are 18 karat gold vermil and they also do sterling silver that is 100 percent recycled as well which is so lovely I just love the pieces so much fun fact i actually every year ring my mum up and conduct a small survey which then leads to a monica vinida purchase no joke every year i ring her and i'm like okay i'm conducting a small survey do we like rose gold or gold this year would we like this stone or this stone and then basically off of her feedback i make my birthday purchase for her we are both such big fans of the brand i love all their stuff so much and they do such a variety like my mum will pick completely different stuff to the stuff that i pick and love and that's the great thing about them is they have so many really gorgeous collections that there's definitely something to suit everyone so i'm gonna put on some rings because i'm having my hair oh. done the seat excuse me we don't like that no thank you <laughs> 
she can hear my neighbor coming home from work. She barks at him every day, every day. Anyway, I'm gonna put on some rings because I'm having my hair done. So hoops are just a bit of a faff to take in and out. And I always leave my jewelry at the hairdressers. So I'm gonna do rings and I'll show you what they look like on. How cute are these? I am so obsessed. I love the chunky ring, I'm so obsessed. I'm also really glad I did my nails this week because it's making the whole look a hundred times better. And then I also have the bracelet and two rings stacked on this hand, which I love. Like I said, I saw the rings. Hello, noisy one. Honestly, this dog, she does not leave my side. Like I said, I saw the rings stacked on their website and I just absolutely loved it so much. And I think they work really nicely with the bracelet as well, which is just gorgeous. Look at that, so pretty. So that is the jewelry that I'm gonna be wearing this evening. I love it, especially with this outfit. You will have seen this in my last vlog. I'll show you in a second. I love this outfit, it's so simple, but such a gem and works really nicely as well. If you're wearing like some cute, chunky gold jewelry because the outfit is so like pared back and simple, it just works really beautifully. I'd probably do like a full earring shebang as well if I wasn't going to the hairdressers, but there's just no point. I don't wanna get them wet or oh, forget them as is the most likely case of me. So just to quickly show you my outfit, you will have seen this in the last vlog, but just very quickly, my top is from Zara and my mom jeans are from Topshop. They're <laughs> really big on me, but I'm just kind of like leaving them as like lower rise, slightly baggy jeans. And I'm really enjoying it actually. And then I've got my YSL flats on, loving those. And then my Monica knitted jewelry, which works really nicely. Like stands out really nicely against this outfit. But anyway, I need to pack my bag get ready to leave so I'm not late because I've booked a hair appointment in rush hour. That was a good idea. I just wanted to check in with you to show you this stunning masterpiece that we've got going on right now. So I'm back. I am so ready for bed. It is so late. I thought I would show you my hair before I sleep on it and it is no longer this cute. I am absolutely loving the fact that we just had a little bit more blonde run through it so basically ignore my forehead because i have had all of my makeup like rubbed off i forgot to take my makeup with me i usually take it and top up but as you can see there's like a lot of just like really tiny subtle highlights running underneath my hairline my battery is about to run out if this cuts out i will see you tomorrow but yeah really subtle highlights so when i flip my hair you can just kind of see there's this real lightness coming through and it's just giving a little bit of lift to my colour from underneath but keeping the nice dark root. I really like my natural colour but I just felt like my brunette tones were looking a bit flat. So yeah we've just added some lightness to it and I think it's really nice and it's just blended my blonde bits that are at the front really nicely as well. Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? It is Thursday today. I didn't vlog yesterday because I had my grandpa's funeral and that felt really morbid to vlog on that day. So we skipped today. But I'm back with you today and I'm going to start off by showing you my outfit for today which is one that I've actually been wearing a lot recently and I've been dying to show it to you because obviously I haven't filmed so much so I haven't had the chance to share this one with you yet but I'm really really enjoying it. So today I am wearing this little nude Zara body which I love so much. I really wanted to pick up another one of these when I was in town last, was it last week? Earlier this week? Can't even remember the days are all a blur at the moment but unfortunately they only had the next size up in stock so sad because i really would like to have another one i just wear the new one so much in the summer that it's nice whilst one is in the wash to have another one on rotation and then i've also got these little white shorts which are from in the style i think they're part of lorna Lux's range and they were just so cute i couldn't resist picking them up and one of the good things about in the style is if you're shorter i find the stuff tends to be like a decent length so yeah really like these very happy with them they also aren't too dissimilar in their white tone from my zara textured shirt what is this like a chevron texture i always used to think it was more tweedy but i'm actually not so sure now but this is one of my go-to's for this time of year where i'm not really sure what the weather's doing but i want something that i can like throw over my outfit this is perfect but the outfit without it is still really cute as well and then i've just popped on my zara quilted sliders which I've had for years and I swear all the brands are doing them now because Bottega have done a pair that are almost identical to these so all the brands have got dupes of these so hopefully there'll be something that I can link in the info box for you guys. A cute little like white and nude outfit. This was actually inspired by Lauren. I saw her wearing an outfit at the weekend and I was like I've got something like that. That would be cute. So this is how this outfit came to be. My hair is just kind of all over the place today. Messy, curly but I'm really liking it. It was just like 
a little bit of a wave. I did full on curls yesterday, so today we're just kind of like dealing with the aftermath, but it's cute. It's nice to like flip about. And as you will have seen at the beginning of this vlog, I had it colored the other day. So all the color kind of like pops through when I flip it, which is really nice as well. But yeah, that is my outfit for the day. I'm really enjoying it. We also have a very good eyeliner going today. And I'm also very happy because I just found my Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess lipstick, which I've been reunited with. And I, I think it might be one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. They also, I saw the other day, have started doing refills for it, which is gold. It's a good packaging situation, great lipstick, glad I found it. Oh, I also have these little Monica Vinader pieces in my ear. They are so pretty. So these are the Dia Huggies here, and then we have the Dia Chunky Hoop Earrings, and they work so beautifully together. I have quite a few sets, because obviously I have quite a few piercings, but I thought they looked really cool all together. You could also switch the Chunky Earring out for another Huggy as well, and just have a really nice streamlined row of them too. So yeah, those are really cute. I think I'm gonna swap them out later tonight because I'm going for dinner. It's Ryan's birthday week, so lots and lots of dinners on the go at the moment. Honestly, this week is crazy. It's been so back to back. In addition to packing for wilderness this weekend as well, I also need to pack for Ryan's tonight. And then I also need to pack for Ryan's birthday trip as well, which is literally back to back with the wilderness trip. So I've got a lot of packing to do today. I am basically going to be living out of a suitcase. So basically the next six days and also if anyone's wondering why i'm doing it on my bed it's because my closet looks like this i can't talk about this right now so this is the packing situation Okay, so I think I'm nearly there. I am waiting to see if a delivery comes today, in which case I might have some more bits that I need to put in the suitcase. If not, I think I can transfer it to my smaller suitcase. The only issue with not knowing is it means I can't pack the following. So I've completely changed my rail in my bedroom just into all of the stuff that I am going to pack for my trip with Ryan, plus my outfits for the next couple of evenings, just so I'm super organized. I just don't have any of those, like what am I doing? What am I wearing? What's happening moments? Yeah, even down to like my swim stuff, it's all in this rack. So I just need to throw that and then some other bits like underwear and you know bits like that and bodies into the suitcase ready for monday in the suitcase i've got a couple of pairs of jeans just in case it's super super cold and i just really don't want to be having my legs out so i've got a stone pair which are from i believe h&m or mango i will try and link them if i can i then have my white top shop mom jeans which i'm really enjoying wearing at the moment i need to actually pack a belt for those just in case i think then i've got just a green hooded kind of waterproofy style jacket jewelry a dress very wishful thinking but just in case i've also got a white play suit here as well from misguided this dress is from zara i think you will have seen it in a haul before the theme of wilderness this year is maximalism so it's like real bold prints and colors and stuff so i'm really adhering to that uh, dress code i've also got a linen shirt which would either be nice tucked into the denim or thrown over the play suit. I also have a pair of white denim shorts coming, which would work really nicely with the white body and the nude body. But if not, I'll pack the shorts that I'm wearing right now because this outfit is a really cute one. I feel very comfortable in it. So these outfits are quite plain and I have a reason why. And it's not that they're like plain, like they're gonna be such cute outfits, but I don't really want anything that's gonna detract 
from the hair because I'm going with GHD, they'll be doing my hair. And sometimes I find that having like really done hair or really fun hair and then a really fun outfit is just a bit like crazy, which does fit the theme with the wilderness, but not on brand for Sue's. So I've got a lot of bodies because they're so high up on the neckline that I find they don't detract from my hair ever. I then have my YSL bag, which goes with basically everything and I've been loving it. I have my steamer because a lot of this stuff, I just don't trust for it to stay uncreased. So I need to make sure that you know, the outfits look good and non-creasy. I then have my makeup and skincare over here with some shoes. I also have some other shoes that are coming and I'm TBC on what I'm gonna be wearing up in the car. I might just wear something really comfy because I'm traveling up so early, so early. But yeah, because I'm going up early, I don't know whether this makeup bag should go in my bag, my actual like bag that's gonna be next to me in the car. So this is where I'm starting to think that this is definitely possible, this smaller suitcase. So TBC, I'm just gonna see how things go by the end of the day and then I might move this stuff over, but I think we are basically done. If nothing else arrives, I think we can move everything over. And then I have my outfit for tonight here. So I'm gonna be changing into that before I leave for Ryan's house. And I'm gonna take my nude body as well that I'm wearing right now for wearing with these tomorrow so that I don't have to take like a whole outfit. It's gonna be a real easy switch up. I think I did it. I think I am fully organised, which is great because it means that I can eat some food now, have time to eat food before my friend comes. I am going to be training her on doing Depop, so we are going to be back on Depop again very, very soon. We had to take a little break because I was in isolation and then all my family stuff and it's just been a crazy month, but I'm excited to get back on it. I also need to sort all of Ryan's birthday stuff this evening. I need to write his card and wrap the presents. Very excited. I also can't wait for you guys to see the cake that I got him. It's so cute, it's from Cutter and Squidge. I'm really excited about it because it's vegan, so I'm gonna annihilate this cake along with him for once. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a change of plan for tonight's outfit of the evening. So I'm going to wear what I was originally going to wear tonight. Tomorrow daytime, because it works for either. And I'll show you the jewelry that I was gonna wear with the outfit, with tomorrow's outfit. But tonight I've just got this black tie waist, midi, long sleeve kind of jersey dress on because it is peeing down with rain. And I was just like, why am I making an effort to look cute when I'm just going to be rained on? And I'm going to be really cold. So the outfit has been switched up. The long sleeves are so appreciated. I'm so nice and warm in this. I've just got my Vaja trainers on with it so that my feet are covered. So yeah, that is tonight's outfit. I will bring you along to dinner and hopefully the weather is going to be better tomorrow and we can look cute again. <laughs> you look so happy. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. I mean, we ate a lot of food last night. I think we can do it. How is it? Oh, that was a lot of food. How are you feeling? Full up. <laughs> you really have to think about that. That was so much food, but it was so good. We went to Oof, which is in Hove. I think it's going to make my top like restaurants, That's cafe, my top brunch breakfast. places. Yeah. It's my new favorite breakfast place. Like better this time than the last time I came here. Like I tried more things. It was really good. Oh, I wanted to show them my outfit. I'm going to have to show them when I get home before I change, but I've got my Monica Vinader hoop earrings in. These are the disco hoops. And then I've also got the curb chain necklace on, which is a little bit askew. Let's sort that out. Oh, perfect. I like having it with the little hoop. You could do it without, so it just kind of sits like this. You can also adjust the length of it, which I really like. You can sit it so that the chain doesn't have the hoop, but I like the hoop at the front. I think it's really, really cute. Works really nicely with today's outfit. I've got little gold buttons on my jeans as well, so it's working really nicely with the jewelry. And then I've also got the dire huggies in as well, which is so cute. Yeah, not a bad outfit for the fact that I got ready in like half an hour this morning. But yeah, we are now going to go back to Ryan's. We've got some work bits to do. Such a fun birthday. What? 
You know, I'm looking at my hand. <laughs> I thought What's you were in that Vogue pose in. I know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I think we're going to go for a walk. Walk off the food because mm. it's been a lot. And I'll be back with you to show you tonight's outfit, which I'm really excited about. I need to decide on shoes for it, but I'm really, really excited to try it on. And then we're going to go eat some more food. That's the Are day's plans. Are you ready? Always. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know how he does it. Food, food, food and more food. Mm -hmm. So there has been a slight change of plans because number one, I napped. And number two, I had a second round of packing because <laughs> I wasn't confident in my choices. So I pretty much repacked my entire suitcase about three times. Can you tell? I'm nervous for my first trip away. But I have decided because we are short on time, but also because I decided that the polka dot dress I was going to wear this evening is going in my suitcase. I decided to stick with today's outfit. So we are about to leave and I thought I would show you this outfit that I've been loving so much lately. I first wore this when I went away to Oxford with Lauren very recently. I might even take it away as like a backup option for Oxford next week. I've been to Oxford so much recently. I feel like the universe is just pushing me there a lot. It's very strange. So I've got on my black Zara body, which I just live in these this time of year, but any time of year, quite frankly. I honestly don't know what I did before these bodies. And then I have this pair of jeans from Zara, which I just love. They are so cute. <laughs> Literally so cute. When I first got them, I ordered them a little while back and I really wasn't sure on them and just didn't even try them on. I was like, no, these are gonna be too long. They're meant to be culottes. I was like, no, this isn't gonna work for me. These are not gonna be flattering at all. I tried them on and I was just like, yeah, you know, actually, they are cute, they were a little bit big so they don't sit right on the waist where I think they are supposed to, they sit a little bit lower on me. So the crotch does come a little bit lower which does make my legs look a little bit short but I still think they're really cute and because there's no pockets or anything like that they are very like streamlined over the hips and I do still find them to be quite flattering because of that. I've also got my little YSL bag which I just think works so beautifully with this outfit. The black trim on this bag is gold, it makes it just work so well into my summer wardrobe this year. I've also got my little YSL flats which are my go-tos, I love them so much in the summer. Then I've got my disco hoop earrings which I was showing you earlier. They are so easy to put in and out. I really like them. I like the way they like click together. They feel very very secure. And then I've got the curb chain necklace which actually just hits at the perfect point on my neckline and you just get the little peep of the little ring and I just think it works so nicely. So yeah that is the main bulk of the outfit. I'm gonna throw on some sunnies on my head because it is like an elite tier hair accessory in my opinion. My makeup is pretty much the same as this morning though I've added a little bit of the Hourglass blush in Loyal to my cheeks which I love that blush so much and I've also got Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess on my lip though I may switch out for something matte just so it lasts through dinner. But anyway that is my little outfit of the evening. Don't forget you can get 20% off Monica Veneta pieces at the moment using the link in the info box with the code suzyb 20 I am so excited. Let me know what you pick up and let me know what your favourites are out of everything that I showed you guys. Their pieces are just so pretty. I think they work so perfectly into my wardrobe, but they have so many pieces that will work so well for so many different styles. Like I said, my mum honestly loves, like she wears her Monica Veneta pieces. She has the little like, I think it's a quartz stone. I'll pop a picture of what she has on screen. She basically has like the bracelet, the ring, the necklace, the earring. I swear she has literally the entire range every year I have to try and double check what she has and what I haven't got her but she absolutely loves it and it suits her style so well and I obviously wear very different pieces I love my gold jewelry I like things that are a little bit more chunky but also things that are quite like dainty and minimal and there really is just something to suit everyone so let me know if you pick anything up and happy shopping I love being able to share a discount code with you guys it makes me so happy so yeah I hope you guys enjoy that and get some use out of it I'm gonna go for dinner now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not feeling very hungry after breakfast. So this is gonna be interesting. At least I won't overorder this time. So, you know, at least there's that. Eighty-two years old. How'd you feel? Eighty-two sitting on eighty-two. <laughs> Everybody, I have just checked into Molly's Motel in Oxford. I believe it is in Oxford. I haven't checked the map 
but I'm pretty sure that's exactly where I am. And I am in this lovely little room I'm sharing with Olivia, who is just so sweet. Everyone is at breakfast at the moment. I got up at six, got here at about 8.30. I have just finished filming the start of my reel that I am filming whilst I'm here. That's what I'm here for. So I'm still like this this cute little look but my makeup is done i'm gonna be having my hair done in a little bit which i'm actually so excited for after 18 months of lockdown not having to do your hair is such a joy whether it's my hairdresser's appointment whatever i am down for it i'm here for it however everyone is at breakfast at the moment and i just heard the word mimosas from daniel pisa so i'm gonna go down and see her i cannot wait to squish her it's been too long but yeah i thought i'd show you the room a little bit it's very cute I really love all of this wooden panelling. I really like it. I have already made myself at home. I'm monopolising the wardrobe space with full permission. No one have a go at me. And yeah, I've got my makeup all set up over here. Got a cute little setup. This lighting is actually very nice for filming in. We have a little bathroom over here. I'll show you a little peek. It's so cute. I want a bathroom like this. But yeah, I'm gonna get dressed a little bit later. Really not sure what I'm gonna wear today. The weather looks like it may hold up. So I'm very excited because I've got some really fun things in here. Look, there's some prints. The theme this year for Wilderness is prints. So kind of rolling with that, but also got some plain stuff because you know me, these are my potential looks. And then I have these little shoe options. I think these two are gonna be my most worn over the next two days. Definitely not these. I'm gonna go down to breakfast finished my filming so i'm feeling really like good really organized and very relaxed so i'm so excited oh i'm also so excited because i now have a white pair <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i really really wanted the white pair i'm so happy just been trying on my outfits and I thought I'd share with you something nobody wanted or cared for but this is my snack section of the room the peanut butter is always with me my bananas my beloved bananas because sometimes I'm just never sure if we're gonna get vegetables or fruit on these trips and I like to get my five a day I have my nut selection and I also have some of Ryan's birthday cake which I packed at 5 a.m. this morning and I'm probably gonna tuck into that now because I'm actually getting really hungry I've had my head on as well. I love it. I'm leaving it with the waves a little bit in for now. But I think later on, I'll give it a proper zhuzh. The hairdresser who did my hair, Sam, SJ, love him. He has done my hair before a GHD event. And I think he's left the salon that he works for and he's like going solo now. So I'm gonna leave his page. He also does my crystal pop sockets that I have on my phones. If you've ever wondered where they're from, he also has a little side hustle which he runs so i'm gonna link him below he's one of my favorite people on the planet we literally like jumped into each other's arms this morning okay so this is what i'm wearing it's been a long time since i last wore my leather jacket but we are being reunited today because is there anything else that's more festival appropriate apart from the very grown-up sensible green jacket that I've also brought with me in this tote bag. <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't born yesterday. This is not my first rodeo. But yeah, I've got these sunglasses, which I think are from H&M last year. I've got my Zara leather jacket on. I have got my Zara little white dress on as well, which is just so cute. Fun fact, when it's raining, I actually prefer bare legs because there's nothing soggy clinging to you. Once you dry your legs, you are dry. You don't have to worry about wet clothes. So this is what I'm going with today. And then I've got some old boots on from Topshop because it's not looking too bad at the moment so I've put the wellies aside I may regret that but these are actually tighter around the ankle so I think I've got less chance of getting water on my feet or in my socks you know yeah and then I've got my Monica Vinader hoops in which you will have seen me wearing earlier this week and that that is it that is the look I'm kind of happy with it you know considering I was very very nervous about what I was supposed to be wearing I think we've done okay guys I think we've done okay
Good morning everybody. So yesterday was very fun. I had a lot of fun at Wilderness. It did pour down with rain. Luckily we were doing like a few bits in various different tents so not the worst. Didn't get particularly wet which I'm very thankful for. This morning I have had my hair freshly done by Sam who is literally my angel and then I have the elite tier hair accessory of my Celine Tilda sunglasses. Holding them up so they have extra bounce. I've then got my Zara nude body with my Topshop mom jeans. These little sliders from ASOS which I was gifted on this trip and I absolutely love them. They're so cute, they work really nicely with the body. I then have this little bag from West 22 which I am very much enjoying. And then I also have a jacket in my bag ready for the trip home when I have to get in and out of the cars. But sadly I'm going home a little bit earlier than expected because the weather is just raining us off. It has been so sad so everyone is leaving. But yeah I have had the best time, the best two days having my hair pampered by GHD and the cordless styler. Got my suitcase ready to go with my muddy boots on top. So yeah that is gonna be it for wilderness we are heading back home i'm so excited to see ryan i can't even tell you i get to jump back into his birthday weekend a little bit earlier than i planned i really thought i was going to be home for dinner and just kind of like finish off his birthday weekend but i might actually get the day with him which will be really really nice but yeah thank you so much to ghd for having me if you guys are watching this i had a good time despite the weather just love having my hair done this trip was unreal for the fact that i spent 18 months doing my own hair just loving this week it's been a very hair -y week <laughs> That sounds weird. Anyway, let's get home. Also, I made a second bead charm in the free people tent yesterday and I'm obsessed with it. I've already broken it, which is a bit sad. But I'm gonna fix it when I'm home. I even put a little R on the bead chain. It's so cute though. I think they said they were selling these phone charm kits on Etsy, so I'll link them if I can find them because I'm gonna have to buy one <laughs> and fix mine. But yeah, so cute. I, my phone now looks ridiculous, but I love it. God, you guys, look at what this man does for me. <laughs> look at this. You are a treat. Thank you so much. This is the best thing to come home to early on a Sunday. I am having the best day. I'm so happy. Look at it. Look at, oh my God. Yeah, okay, be right back, guys. I love you, back. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday. We are ready to roll. You can probably see my suitcase behind me in the hallway. This morning, Ryan and I are off from the little staycation that I booked for his birthday. We're both so excited. We are just about to leave, and hopefully we're going to miss all of the really bad weather <laughs> that has been going on down south, but also up in Oxford that I have just been subjected to <laughs> over the past weekend. So hopefully we're going to be missing all of that, and it looks like it's going to be really great weather. Like the perfect kind of like sunny, cloudy, 21, 22 for the next couple of days. So I am so excited. Got a little free people two piece on this morning, which is so cute. I'm literally so, so happy with my outfit. I've got new Converse on as well. I haven't worn Converse in years and I feel so, so cute in them. So yeah, this is my little travel outfit. I'm so, so buzzed for all of the outfits that I've got for this trip. I'm just really happy that the weather is gonna be playing my game and allowing me to wear these outfits as well. So yeah, really looking forward to it. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've got up to this week. Honestly, I can't even remember everything that you will have seen. It feels like for me, it's been such a busy week. Yeah, thank you so much to all of you guys for watching and thank you to the Monica Vinader team for all of the lovely new pieces and for sponsoring this video. I am loving the hoops, like honestly, I'm obsessed. The Dea Huggies are so comfortable to sleep in. I honestly, I've been taking them out to shower, but then putting them straight back in because they are so, so comfortable. Like on another level, my studs are kind of just on my nightstand. They have been retired for the time being because these are so comfy to sleep in. I have been sleeping so much better. I think like hoops are definitely a much better option if you get a bit annoyed by um, earrings when you're sleeping. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go now. I hope you all have enjoyed this vlog. I will be back again very, very soon with another one because I'm literally gonna be starting again in about five minutes. So I hope you're looking forward to that. I love you all lots. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.